this week, we break away from our usual day in the life of segment and we bring to you a countdown of our previous guests on their journey to success. However, the business tips stay the same as we bring to you how to conduct yourself in an interview. and welcome to another episode of the Be Bold Show. As usual, we're here to inspire you, to educate you, and really just being bold all together. Yes, definitely. And today, we are going to bring you a throwback episode. We're so excited because we get to see what has happened to all those guests we interviewed previously and how they've gone on in their journey. So stay with us. So for our first guest, let's see if you remember this lady all the way from season one. When the child takes breast milk for a period, it brings something, it brings some out. We call it milk. I'm Patricia Mawili, the first female to gain a Ghana national license and the first black person ever to ever have attended the Rotas course, which is these engines we use at the moment. Not only do I fly planes, but I build planes as well, two and four seater planes. I've been doing this for three and a half years. And for instance, if you take one of these planes and you want to build them, six people, it would take us six months to build one. And if you take the all metal planes, it would take you about a year to finish one of them. It is very funny if I say it. People will ask you, what do you do? Somebody will say, I'm a teacher, I'm a nurse. But I will say, I'm a pilot and an aircraft engineer. How fun is that? So all you youngsters who are waiting there for someone to encourage you about career in life, Building a plane and flying, it is the most fascinating thing you could ever imagine doing. Yes, everybody, that was Patricia Mauli, and she lives in Pong, and um, yeah, she's one of the first female pilots, yeah. right? Guys, let's take a look at what she's been up to ever since season one, when she came and launched the Bebo Show the very first time. You know, a lot have gone on since you guys came and I have to say I'm very proud because when you guys came, one of the very first things I spoke about was the Aftec Academy. And in a few moments I'll be taking you guys over to the classroom where you can see the girls doing their CBT. For most people who are wondering what CBT uh -huh. is, it's <laughs> computer-based training. Okay. So it's where they have to actually do all the theoretical aspects to do with flying. And so when I take you there, you'll be very excited. But a lot, a lot of things have actually happened. The very aircraft we are standing here was built since you guys came. Wow. And this is our health educational drop airplane. So this plane is used for medicine on the move? Yes, this is dedicated to medicine on the move. Because after flying over the whole country of Ghana, I saw there is the need to revisit some of those communities. And if you look at it from the air, a lot of the youngsters are very hardworking. When you fly over the schools, it wants to keep children in the schools and girls are very excited to hear a girl build a plane and she is flying it. And I had a special request from one of the communities in that front planes that they wanted me to actually take the aircraft and fly over their school. Because yeah. in that community, they have the problems with girl child getting pregnant in school and end up being school dropouts. So I was like, wow, if somebody's getting excited and getting motivated by me taking an aircraft and flying overhead them, let me do the same thing. So we dedicated this airplane to medicine on the move. And I then volunteer my time to go fly over those schools to help keep girls in schools. Because when I see people in school, it sparks some smile on my face and that's where my satisfaction comes from. So if you actually take a critical look at this airplane, somewhere at the bottom of the plane there is a big hole. 
oh, and wow. that hole when we get into the communities we drop health educational materials from the bottom okay. into the schools and when the kids see these materials dropping down they all are excited they want to see what's in there and when you see them the joy they go for the stuff and they read it then everybody wants to go to school at the moment the AFTEC Academy actually has taken it upon themselves those girls in the Academy wants to educate other people to be like them to actually learn to understand how to not get infected by these diseases. I think it's exciting. Yeah. And each girl has their own computer that the school provides for them. Wow. And now can it's okay. So here we have Juliet from Bronga Hafo, we have Lydia from Hello. the Volta region and Emanuela as well from the Volta region. And then we have Oni who is trying to escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Oni is from Germany and he's an instructor to do with airline pilots okay. and he has a lot of knowledge and he comes every year to inspire us, myself as well as the girls here. Yes. Okay, my name is Lydia Rochi. I'm from Volta Region, student pilot engineer. Um, how I came here was I met Jonathan and Patricia in the market three years ago and they decided to help me out with my arm because during those times my arm was bleeding. So they took me to the hospital and they treated my arm for me well to stop the blood flowing and then they told me about the school. Or after Academy, and then I go to join the Aviation and Technology Academy. Wow! Did you ever think you were going to end up in aviation? No, never. <laughs> never knew that I was coming to join the uh, aviation. I got to know of this place on 8th of March 2010, and it was a fly me day. And it was specially for girls because that was the 100 year celebration for the first woman to gain a pilot license. And it was my dream since childhood, around six years, to be a pilot. But Juliet wanting to become a flight instructor just like me. And every time I fly with her, she tells me, hey, how can I become a flight instructor? And I say, it starts from here. She's doing really well, and this is what she wants to do. This is my motivation. Look at Emanuela, who dreams of becoming an area dispersal pilot. How many black people in the world can fly? And let's alone be able to be able to specialize in crop spraying, spraying against malaria. That's a big dream. And you know what? In order for these girls to achieve that dream, it takes somebody like me, it takes somebody like Oni, it takes somebody like all the volunteers who come to help these girls achieve their dream. It's not just me, it's not just Jonathan. It's everybody who encourages them. Look at Oni, he spent a lot of money to come from all the way in Germany, leaving all the work that he does. He has the opportunity to earn money. He has the opportunity to inspire other people in Germany. But he chooses to be here, to do it for us in Ghana. It means Ghana is special. And it means you girls are special. It needs to take you guys to be able to encourage other people. Don't only make me cry today, <laughs> but you have to be able to encourage other people. Okay, this is what the world is about. Ghana needs you to do this. Sorry. Oh, wow. We can cry today, but tomorrow I want to be able to see you guys be able to encourage other people. So two years ago, when you guys came here, there was nothing like this here. Nope, this empty. place was full of shrubs and no idea of having to build something. But then we realized there is the need to keep the girls on site. Because when I go to a lot of other schools and I realize the children go home, it doesn't help them learn. Because when you go home, your parents are expecting you to do all the house chores. So we believe keeping the girls on site, they have all the access to educational materials, studying, free mind. And so we put this up here and here is the girls' bungalow here. Okay. And they go in there at the end of the day to have their sleep and to relax. They have a common room in there and it's good, but they don't like that showing that to other people <laughs> as they course. believe that's their privacy. their privacy. And so right here is the classroom unit and the clinic, the mini clinic we call it. 
and then here it belongs to volunteers like Oni and his wife who are here at the moment they teaching the girls there. yes they stay there and through that it helps everybody and you know what believe it or not your show has helped a lot of people watching it gave other people confidence to be able to come in here and to help the girls so that is really good and we are really grateful to the Be Bold oh, show you. and you guys <laughs> keep inspiring other people because a lot of people when they watch your show they come to us and they say hey we saw that girl and it's through you guys your help wow. so do visit us more often yes, we should huh? we definitely will yeah it's been it's just been great to see what you guys have been up to and how everything is just growing and you can see how big everything looks now the girls do all the grass cutting they fight over it too <laughs> whoever most they are fighting i want to mow i want to do this and you know what this is real yeah a lot of people only say this is what we're gonna do this is what we do yeah. we don't have to say we are going to do it we already do it and here this little room here is a kind of battery room where we keep, we keep inverters and batteries to be able to still have power whilst the generator is off. Huh? All right, are you ready? Yeah, ready. One, two, three. Be <laughs> <laughs> Patricia Mowley. Oh, I love her. She's such an inspiration, even from season one yep. already building her own planes, flying, being the first black woman to ever get that in certificate. In those planes, yeah. Yeah. And I'm still jealous that you got to fly. I tried. I tried to go in there I and didn't fly, enjoy I... it, though. Don't be too jealous really? because I have motion <laughs> sickness and being on there, I was just like, Patricia, please take me down now. Take me down now. And she it was, was so great <laughs> to go there and see, you know, how they've expanded. They have new hangars for their planes and they have the school and it's a proper structure now. So it was really, really cool to Exciting. see. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting.